Sí, chicos. Dos. Dos. Good morning. Full day of eating on a Saturday, which we never do. So we're together as a family every Saturday and Sunday. He gets egg bites. He's spoiled, but he loves them. And it's a fun little treat tradition. So here he comes. I'm finishing up this book, which is really great. And I had a coffee with just a little cream and some sweetener. Matt got me a coconut milk cappuccino. I was and doing- Fifi's getting to be gigantic. I know, he's such a big boy. No, 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 no. No, no Theo, you can't pick him up. Theo, be gentle. Come on, Blip is going away. Look at how dirty we're making the truck. Okay, so this is my coffee that Matt grabbed me. It's a grande cappuccino with coconut milk. And I'm doing decaf right now because I'm recovering from a UTI. And then I'm just gonna add a scoop of this vanilla collagen. And that'll be my morning coffee, yum. Theo's favorite activity is pouring water or I love more. Okay, more. into little cups. You failed. No spill. Good job. Okay, I'm cooking up breakfast here. I have these sausages for me. And then these two are for Mega. And apparently Theo tried these the other day and he said, ew. So we'll see if they're any good. Why did Theo say ew? I don't know. That's what, that's what I was curious. And then I was like, I'm not even trying to try them. I made him two of them and then I just got rid of them. They were like cut up in a bag for post daycare. But he never says ew. Hmm. They're probably really bad then. All right, here's Mega's sad little breakfast. No, I'm doing an avocado. Oh, she's doing an avocado too. Looks like you loaded up on squash. I know, because I don't want them to run out. And this is my breakfast. Six sausages, four eggs. Oh, and for cooking this, I cooked it in tallow. Whole Foods had a sale on it, so I grabbed a bunch of jars, but it is pricey. Oh, and Theo went to Tiny Town to play with the trains. Yeah, with Grandpa and Uncle. All right, give us a review from a scale of delicious to ew, because Theo said they're ew. They definitely weren't ew. They weren't like really bad tasting. They just had almost no flavor at all. I would give them like, uh, not an ew because they didn't taste bad. They just didn't taste good. They're just like a meh. And after breakfast, I finished. I'm in the Clean Plate Club. I'm also gonna have some chocolate. And I'm gonna do a little bowl of blueberries since I only ate one of my sausages and the avocado. And that'll be my lunch. Someone's sad. All right, guys, I'm gonna make my favorite drink as of late. It's a delicious hot chocolate and I'm making it for Matt so he can do a taste test for you guys. And it's super simple. I'm going to be using a couple ingredients here. But first things first, this video is sponsored by Elementi. So if you guys don't know about them, they are an incredible electrolyte company. So it's L-M-N-T, it's pronounced element. But this is our favorite flavor, so we highly recommend it. And I'm gonna be using the chocolate salt today in my hot chocolate. I drink one of these packets every single day. If not in my morning coffee, I drink it in the evening with my hot chocolate. A thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 potassium, 60 magnesium. So if you're finding it hard to get your electrolytes in, like I do on some days, this is a great way to supplement. And then Matt likes these citrusy flavors. This one's new. I have not tried the watermelon salt. I have, it's good. It's good. So this hot chocolate is gonna be composed of, obviously one of these, chocolate salt packets. It makes it nice and salty with the sweet. I also like to use some collagen, so I'll do a scoop, scoop and a half of this. Some canned coconut milk. And fun fact, Trader Joe's has coconut milk that doesn't have any like guar gum or like thickeners in it. So if you're looking for that, we like to get our canned coconut milk there. And then I'm gonna do a little splash of cocoa powder and some hot water. So it's gonna be super simple. I'll blend it up and I'll show you what it looks like when Matt tastes it. All right guys, here is the hot chocolate. I'm very excited for Matt to drink it. So if you are interested in these element packets and I highly recommend the chocolate salt, then definitely click on the link down below and you can get a free sample pack with seven different flavors and all you have to do is pay for shipping. So that's a really good deal and you can try out which flavor is your best and then you can just buy it. We get it off Amazon, you can go to their site. So definitely check out Element. Thank you so much for sponsoring this. Now for a taste test. Really good. I don't know what it is, just the flavoring with this chocolate one is just like, 
I looked at the ingredients and it's all pretty basic stuff, so I don't know what's doing it, but it's really just like top-notch flavor. I say top-notch every video now. It's the salt, why. right? It's the salt. Sup guys, having a midday snack. We're starting season eight of 90 Day Fiance, just as good as always. The show never disappoints. I know, I was so bummed because we haven't been able to watch MAFS or 90 Day because we've watched them all, but well, then- Well, they probably don't know what MAFS is. If you don't know what MAFS is, then look it up. Married at first sight. Yeah. But my dad has Discovery Plus, and that's where you can watch all the 90 days free. So. I think Married at First Sight is better. I agree. 90 days, not quite as good, but it is pretty good. But it's really juicy. I'm having a snack. I think days. on 90 day, you get more of the wacky people. Like that the wackadoodles? Yeah, like this one lady on this show, she has a boyfriend from Tunisia, and like every aspect of her life is her boyfriend now. Her so card. phone cover, credit card, bed sheets, all pictures of her boyfriend. Shirts. And she's done this once before with a previous like super young Arabic boyfriend. From Morocco. And then you hear her tell the story and she's like, I wasn't looking for any kind of relationship, but you know, this 26 year old Moroccan Tunisian man showed up at my, in my inbox. It's just like, no, you were obviously pursuing this super hard. Yeah. I'm having a snack, these pork rinds. All right, so speaking of snacks, I guess that would be a good option, the little bags to hand out for Halloween. So did you see what Quest just came out with? No. Frosted icing no, cookies. No, no, How bad do you think they're going to be? They'll probably taste really good. I don't think, I think they're going to be really bad. Quest usually comes through with the taste pretty well. Back to Halloween. Halloween, coming so, up soon. Theo's gonna be a dinosaur. Oh my goodness, look at how cute he looks. And there's like a big chunky tail on the back. So what are we handing out this year? I've always wanted to be like the house that hands out the big candy bars kids are excited to go to. It goes against like what we believe now. But growing up, I always wanted to be the cool house. So I think for Theo, how many candy bars are we gonna let him eat? So the kids I nannied growing up throughout high school, However old they were, they got to have that many pieces. That seems so good. So he would have yeah, two. I'll get two. Felix would have zero. Yeah. I think at least a healthy option could be good. Yeah, That's I what mean, we usually Lily's do. has like little chocolate bars that are that yeah, big. Yeah, just something like that. But I never really ate most of the candy anyway. I would I have ate like, a lot of mine. Oh, like I didn't. Half. I would just like store mine in a shoebox under my bed and then eventually just throw it out. It's really just the going around house to house that's fun for me. But yeah, it'll be fun to walk around with Theo. I think two pieces is fair and we'll like let him pick them out on his own. But I feel like two is even a lot, right? Not the same day, two separate days. Oh, okay, that's smart. Okay, so one, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Probably not even that night though, because it's bedtime. I think this year I want to hand out, because I've been thinking about it, the Little Lily's chocolate bars. Um, I know like Quest does Reese's Cups. Just like healthier options. Little we also only get like 10 trick-or-treaters, so we couldn't afford to do like 10 quest things. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it would be way too expensive if we had tons of kids. But last year we did a bucket of like normal stuff and then a bucket of keto low carb stuff and everyone went for the keto low carb stuff because it looked a lot more fun. Because everyone just goes to the store and gets like the big Hershey's or whatever Nestle variety pack and it's all yeah. the same. Yeah. Oh good. Ah! Yeah. Whoa! That one. New one. Okay, so I just quickly prepped chicken for myself and Theo. I did one of these Kevin's meals, but it's not this flavor. It's the roasted garlic, but I didn't have the box. And there I have my Kevin's with some roasted delicata squash. So this is Matt's plate squash. And then we had some leftover chicken from last night, rotisserie chicken. And then this is Theo's. He has squash, chicken, and some rice, because he loves rice. A mother's job never ends. No, it doesn't. So for a little after dinner snack, I'm just gonna have, I think the rest of this peanut butter. Maybe not the rest. I think there's probably like a quarter cup or more in there, but I'll have a couple spoonfuls of it. What's new in the world? What's going on with the celebrities and stuff? Are you calling you to come outside? You want me to come outside? Okay, I'll come out in one minute. Ben and Fur are hot and heavy. Ben Affleck, like Jennifer Lopez. Oh, are they? Yeah. The Kardashians are over, but someone said they're not over and they're coming to Hulu. That's but... what a lot of people were saying. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure they're over. There was like five comments that said they're coming to Hulu, so I think they're probably right. 
Oh, I'm game for that. We have Hulu. I wonder how the Kardashians will be remembered and viewed in like 20 or 30 years. I mean, I feel like people still just think of Kim as her sex tape. People think of her as like a superstar, like famous, most famous no, person No, I know ever. that's what she is. I just think of them as famous people. They're no different than anyone else. Yeah, they're, they represent something. Social media? Like fame? Yeah. I don't really think about it much. You clearly do. No, I don't. This thought just came to mind. Like, in 30 years, what will people say? Bitcoin is really up. Yes, it is. I knew it. I remember in one video, I was talking about it when it was like 3900 I was like, I'm taking you to a fancy dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3900 39000 No, 3900 We've This been was together like a video, yeah. That long? Yeah. But yeah, not much is going on. Just, I haven't been feeling well the past couple of weeks, so I've just been taking it super slow. We're excited for the holidays. This year's gonna probably be drastically different than last year because of, you know, people finally getting together. More people are like vaccinated, more people don't care. So that'll be fun. We're going home for Thanksgiving. They're, everyone's gonna meet Felix on Matt's side for the first time. Yeah. 